Hello everyone, this is DH and today we hunt a raging Brachidios. I really like this fight, I think it's much better than Iceborne Brachidios. As far as the fight goes, you can avoid its stuff better because it's a bit slower. But mistakes get punished hard. So let's get started. We can do the usual triple step, slap to the face to enrage it. And since it's throw is so slow, we can jump to the arm and wound that instead. Hitting its head is pretty hard as it's really high up. And for this part, my game plans to hit that wounded arm, but later on I'll switch to the legs instead. Let's heal up due to that mistake, as I said, damage is super high. You can keep hitting the leg, and the arm will be where the leg was before. Throw through that, move to attack. You can really dance with Raging Brachidios. There's time to do a Morphing Sweep from that. Okay, got away from the Slime Puddles. Got the Clagger, we can Clutch, Release and Shift into Sword, Double Slash and ZSD. I had to cancel early because that has a hitbox in the arm, so I'd be hit if I stay there. I wanted to hit the arm with that, but I hit the lag instead. It was also a bit gritty, couldn't dodge that. But the clagger, now it will be lag rather than the arm. I have 100% affinity on weak spots, even without wounding. And the legs will always trip it. The arms only trip on break, so after the arm's broken, no more trips were thrown bad. This is the arm I was hitting before. So let's combo it a bit. And finish with the ZSD. I got spooked there, you can actually stay on that attack, it's safe on Raging Brachidios, on regular Brachidios it isn't, but Raging is larger, so it works out. Another clacker, so I wound the other line. Line there, so it will face slash backwards. There. It's going to lick its stress, so we can punish it. Got Power X going to. Miss face there, I thought I'd be safe with that side stuff. Got the legs and the arms a bit. Attack this, got the trick. I slash backwards to avoid explosion, slash back in, and finish with the ZSD as it gets up. It's going to leave, so I cancel these early and start another one. got a clacker there, I should have done an early cancel. Since I'm too far to reclaw, I'll just sharpen my weapon. Here's something interesting, it became enraged in the area transition, so we want to fight in here a bit. Which is a bit tough, but okay, we'll take it. The stagger, so do the heavens where the fear reach you get out. And it's leaving again. Here it has two jumps with hitboxes, so I won't ZSD just yet. Take a cold ring because this set has no hit guard. So I can clutch to it. Let's go to the face. I'll do two more slaps to get the head wounded due to the three slaps I gave it at the start, and then I'll ZSD for more damage. The lava guys are helping me a bit there. It's really nice of them. Let's 
it's leaving already. That attack where it runs its fist through the ground has no hitboxes. Only the explosions from the red fist has hitboxes. That's why I did the morphing sweep back there. I was close to the arm with only L's line, so it was safe. So I'll rebuff, heal, use a ration to refill my stamina. And during its mad slamming, you can clutch to its face, it's safe. And the tremor hitbox is only at the beginning of the animation. So you see I can fall and not be tremor. I'll re wound the lag now. Going for them trips. Here, those slime won't blow up fast. It can blow up with one attack. But it does stick damage, and the longest the Safi set, that's super dangerous. Got the arm break was for a trip, that's a huge shame. Let's see if this gets off. Damage. Go to that in the tank. A clagger, that's nice. I delayed the ZSD a bit because I think the head's going to break soon. Unfortunately, I didn't delay quite enough. Got to break just as it was recovering, so that ate my threat. Too bad. for the lag here, I'm trying to hit anything really, the lag can trip and the arms take more damage and it, it has very little HP in this last phase, so just hit it until it dies essentially. And yeah, that's just at the edge of that slime for the roar. Shame. Like for the trip, got a trip, and I'll finish him, or something like that. Combo that, and do this, yes, yes, if he has stuff. And it's that. Well, that was Raging Burkidios. This is actually really far away from the world record. There's a U world record run by Factory Supper, it's still six minutes, I think. And Nora also has a six and a half minute brand, or something, I believe. So go watch their runs to learn something. I'll link both of them in the top right corner and in the description. This is my set, my usual mental set, but with Blast Resistance 3, because Blast Scourge is ass. The runs I mentioned don't use it, but I do. And of course I'll have to carve it. And oh, got a reactor. So that's why I was carving it. You can't have enough of those. Getting the shinies too. I do know if those can be reactors, but eh, might as well take it. And there's my final time. I just wanted to go sub 8, so this is nice. It was pretty hard. Raging Brachidios is quite hard. And as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next hunt. See ya! Bye-bye!